and Wings for Kids Charity RC Air Show happening this weekend. And of course, we've got the Radio City, River City Radio Controllers out this morning. And uh, this Curtis Jenny right here. Um, we'll go talk to Jim Schroeder about that and how you can enjoy the show this weekend coming up on WDRB Mornings. Small aircraft will make a big difference this weekend. And Keith Kaiser learns about the Wings for Kids Charity RC Air Show. Keith? Always fun to get out here to EP Tom Sawyer Park for this show. Uh, always fun to meet and get, getting back with and meeting the fellows again. Larry Cunningham here. He's got the information about the whole show. But uh, Jim Schroeder right here. Jim, you how many planes do you bring out each year? What do you think? Usually at least two, sometimes yeah. three airplanes. So there's 40 involved with the whole show. This one right here, let's we'll move out of the light here so we sure. can see this. What is this? What are we looking this, at? This is a Curtis Jenny 1917 mm -hmm. model. Yeah. This particular airplane was designed to be a military trainer. Okay. So they, when the, when the war first started, mm -hmm. they needed a trainer airplane, so they used the Curtis Jenny. Now, did you want to be the guy that rides backwards there? I, I can barely ride forward. <laughs> Riding backwards is a little trickier. Yeah, yeah, that's the uh, tail gunner. Got um, it. Uh, it's the original tail gunner. And, of course, to scale, and, of course, you can get close to these planes this weekend and, uh, and of course, see them flying, see them in the air. Larry Cunningham, we've got, uh, you know, 40 planes are here from pilots from all over the country. What should we expect this weekend, Saturday, Sunday? Um, a little bit of everything. Yeah. They're going to be big planes, little planes, yeah. planes that are 12 feet, wingspans, uh -huh. and turbine jets, and helicopters that do crazy things that just aren't supposed to happen. They're not supposed to happen. I've yeah. seen that before. It's crazy. Yeah, and then so we'll, why should people come out and be a part of this? We're doing all this as a fundraiser okay. for uh, the Norton's Air Transport Wing for Got the it. Children's Hospital mm -hmm. and to help introduce kids to the RC flying community. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of an older generation, but of course, bringing the bringing the young guys in, we're going to meet some of those pilots this morning who uh, who think on a different level. Can you fly the helicopters like these kids can fly helicopters? Not even starting. <laughs> not, not, not even going to try. <laughs> not even going to try. We'll see some of that this morning. And of course, this great show happens tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday here at uh, Bill Fluke Airfield at EP Tom Sawyer Park. Come here and be a part of it. All right, Mr. Kaiser, appreciate it. Have you been over there to the airfield? You know, I have a couple of years ago. I think I was still doing weekend mornings at the time, but that's impressive when they get out there and do that. It really is, and some of those planes are pretty doggone big. I mm -hmm. mean, bigger, bigger than I expected them to be when I heard radio controlled planes. I thought they'd be like this, but some mm -hmm. of them have a wingspan bigger than this table. And people spend thousands and thousands of dollars on them, too. Indeed they do. Big time hobby. And of course, they need good weather for it, right? Right. They do. I don't know. Wings for Kids RC Air Show happening this weekend here at EP Tom Sawyer Park, and it's all to benefit Just for Kids Transport Team. We got some planes that are going to be lit up. We're going to fly in the dark when we come back, and we're going to tell you about this great, great event to give back to this great uh, Norton Children's Hospital coming up on WDRB Mornings. Hey, Grayson, take that thing up. Yes, we're talking about the Wings for Kids. Wings for Kids RC Air Show, and we're doing a little flying in the dark right here. Uh, Grayson Elmer, he just he just graduated from the seventh grade, going into eighth grade. Uh, his brain's a little wired a little differently. Uh, this show has been going on for more than 20 years. 40 planes in the air, 40 aircraft on Saturday and Sunday here at EP Tom Sawyer Park. It's going to be a great time. But we're giving back to Norton Children's Hospital and the Just for Kids transport team. He's going to keep flying there. Uh, this this is Penny, Penny uh, Barry right here, and there's Glenn over there. And this is the, uh, what, what do you call this unit right here, Penny? So this is um, our critical care transport yeah. unit. Um, so we pick up pediatric and neonatal patients across yeah. the Commonwealth of Kentucky and Southern Indiana. So m more than $500,000 raised for uh, the, the Adjust for Kids transport team. And and so this, this has got to mean something for you when the community comes together and just RC planes uh, making it happen. And, and of course, you can get the uh, crucial equipment for the uh, for the transport. Absolutely, we've been in great partnership um, with Wings for Kids and RC 
free um, for this weekend every mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Um, they help support a lot of our equipment, um, and that is all done through um, the funding of the community. And, and have you ever, have they ever offered you to fly a plane out here? Uh, they have. Um, <laughs> however, um, as Glenn and I told you, uh, $70,000 plane is very, <laughs> it's tempting, but very scary. Yes. Well, these guys are unbelievable. These pilots are coming from all over the country. Uh, right now, uh, Grayson's showing off a little bit. But yeah, 3D planes like this defying the laws of gravity. And you can come see it this weekend uh, here at EP Tom Sawyer Park, Bill Fluke Airfield. Uh, $5 gets you in the door per person or $10 per car load. And it's all going back to the uh, Just for Kids transport team. Guys, check it out. Unbelievable. That's pretty cool. Really cool. Dark, upside down. Yeah. Doing tricks. Like Thunder Air Show. I know. Scaled down. I was thinking that same thing. All right. Thank you, Keith. Indiana. Good morning. Sun's coming up here at uh, EP Tom Sawyer Park, getting ready for the Wings for Kids RC Air Show. Ethan's going to take this one into the skies right here. Look at that. Just like a balsa wood, carbon fiber, and, and magic is what happens here. Uh, you'll see these planes flying this weekend and uh, in just a few minutes. We'll have that coming up on WDRV Mornings. Small aircraft will make a big difference this weekend. Keith Kaiser learns about the Wings for Kids Charity RC Air Show. Keith? And of course, some great pilots from around the country making this happen. Larry Cunningham right here, acting as air boss this weekend. Make sure all the planes get in the right place. Hey, Grayson, take that thing out. Ethan, take it out. Uh, of course, 3D planes, it just takes a different brain to operate these. Uh, it, it does. Do, do you like to try to, to, to fly some of these like this? Um, I might try to fly them. <laughs> <laughs> try, try. But you, you like the kind of the vintage planes, the uh, the kind of the warbirds. I like the warbirds yeah. and the piper cubs, yeah. the, one of the big and slow and big wings. And, I like it. Yeah. And so this, this show, always fascinating, always exhilarating. Uh, Saturday and Sunday here at EP Tom Sawyer Park. Why put on this show? Um, awareness yeah. for the Norton Children's Air Transport Group, uh -huh. raise some money for that. Yeah. Uh, over the years, the club has donated over $500,000. That's amazing. That's amazing. And of course, what's the show look like? How, how's the how's the runner show for Saturday and Sunday? Um, we're going to have all kinds of aircraft coming in, groups of warbirds, groups of World War I planes, World War II airplanes, electric jets, turbine jets, 3D helicopters, Yeah. you know, stuff like this that's going on out here now yeah. where they're doing things that just aren't right. It's a, it defies the laws of gravity, and you got to see it here in person. It's going to be this Saturday and Sunday, tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, it's $5 to get you in per person, $10 a, for a car, and uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful time. Right? Grayson, Grayson, can I can I talk to you while you're flying at the same time? Yeah. You can. You're doing six things at once. <laughs> the, you, this should not happen. <laughs> you're not gonna talk to me too much though. <laughs> What's it like flying these? Oh. Uh, once you get used to it, pretty simple. It's like uh, it's like second hand. It's like second nature. Ethan, I'm not gonna talk to you. I know that you'll you'll throw it into the dirt. So uh, <laughs> no, he won't do it. He knows what he's doing. Be a part of a Wings for Kids RC Air Show, fellas. Check this out. Unbelievable. Sounds a little like motorcycles out there. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good time. Looks like a good time. He's roasting that kid, Ethan. Though he said, if I talk to you, you're gonna crash this thing. Didn't do it, did he? Oh nope. man. It's the real deal. He huh? thinks good at what he does. Give that man some credit. It's a pretty cool airstrip. I mean, you can see it from Hurstborn Parkway, mm -hmm. but if you go to the park and you kind of take the trails around the soccer field, it eventually leads you out to that airfield. And I've seen him take off like right over my head. It's impressive. It yeah, really is. And it's a little strange because you kind of do that double take. You're like, wait, what? is that a real plane? Yeah. <laughs> but some it just of them doesn't are look big. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't look to scale. And you kind of do that double take. You, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think That'd we strapped two of them show. together. Put a string around Mike there and just have him lift off from a WDRB parking lot and take him right home. You're going to need more than two of them. Don't do that to yourself, Mike. Come on, my guy. Come on, my guy. Don't do that to yourself. A beautiful day to fly today and a beautiful day for uh, Saturday and Sunday for the uh, River City Radio Controllers uh, Wings for Kids. There's, there's Ethan right there. And uh, all the parts and pizzas that go into a helicopter. When we come back, he will defy the laws of gravity and uh, make this thing dance. And we'll have that coming up on WDRB Mornings.
Uh, 8126, you're clear for takeoff. 8126, you're clear for takeoff. Uh, biplane here, we're talking about Wings for Kids RC Air Show happening on Saturday and Sunday. Go ahead, Grayson, you take off. Jim, you take off. Fantastic. Uh, and of course, these aircraft uh, are, are just beautiful to watch. And of course, you get a great history lesson on them too. Uh, and it's a great charity for uh, the Just for Kids transport team, Norton Children's Hospital. But one thing I do love are the helicopters. There's Ethan right here, and there's uh, Grayson over there, and Jim flying the helicopter. Now, now, why, what, what fascinates you most about the helicopter? Honestly, I love the fact that it can go upside down and pretty much do whatever a normal helicopter yeah. cannot do. Come over here and kind of get the, the controller right here. Uh, see the helicopter. So uh, now the hell you can make it do uh, go in any direction you really want to. So, so talk me through the controllers. Yeah. So controllers. over here on the right side is your aileron. So you can see if I move it right, the helicopter will go right. Left, it'll go left. And then if I push it forward, it'll move forward. If I pull back, the helicopter will go back. And then over on the left side, right here, you have your pitch, so you can go up, <laughs> down. You also have your rudder, so you can move the tail whichever way, just like that. And then how is this, I mean, the, the movements of the helicopter are like a real helicopter, but this one does a little bit different. This can go upside down. It can. How, how is That's it right. doing that? So I set the head speed on the motor to be a certain RPM, and it's collective pitch, so the pitch of the blades change. So whenever I flip it upside down like that, <laughs> it'll just hold. It just holds yep. just like that? You just move the stick down, it'll shoot up like that. Um, mate, you, go ahead, Ethan, play with it a little bit there. Uh, the things that he can do with the helicopter are crazy. And of course, uh, the other pilots here are going to have a great time this weekend. Saturday, Sunday, E.P. Tom Sawyer Park, Bill Fluke, Airfield, Wings for Kids, RC Air Show. you got to be here to be a part of it. $5 get you in, $10 for a car load, and uh, you're giving back to a great organization. Look at this! It shouldn't happen! That is just this chaos right happen. there. I thought that chopper was going down. <laughs> Keep thinking of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get to the chopper! The get chopper. to the chopper! It's going down! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's in on that. Uh -huh. Yeah, hanging out at the EP Tom Sawyer Park this morning. Bill Fluke Airfield is going to be full of planes tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, planes like this one right here. Uh, it's, I think this might be half scale. And then, of course, it's helping out just for kids transport team, Norton Children's Hospital. When we come back, the money raised. How are they using it? We'll have that coming up on WDRB Mornings. In Louisville, we're sp focused on small aircraft mm -hmm. this weekend that are flying for a cause. Keith Kaiser learns about the Wings for Kids Charity RC Air Show. Keith? So we're taking off right now, get a little practice run in before Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and of course, half scale models like this one right here. Amazing. 3D planes, biplanes, so many different planes. 40 in one place. And of course, this uh, air show put on by River City Radio Controllers, giving back to Just for Kids Transport Team Norton Children's Hospital. Uh, and that's what it's all about, is helping out the kids. And Penny Berry here with the uh, Just for Kids Transport Team. Th this. This truck and everything that goes into it takes some money to make that happen. And you, you got to thank these guys, the River City Radio Controllers, for, for helping out and, uh, and purchasing some of these items. Absolutely. We've had a great partnership with them over the last 20 years, and their support and the community support, we wouldn't be here without them. Just an example. Here it is. This unit right here, uh, very important when, uh, when in emergency situations. What are we looking at here? So this is, uh, we call it a neonatal isolate. Um, so when babies are born and need additional care, this keeps them warm. We can regulate their temperature. Um, we can provide respiratory support um, and transport them to Children's Downtown. And just this event has raised over $500,000 uh, that goes back into equipment like this. And I think the latest purchase might be that the, the red thing on top right there. Yeah, that is one of our ventilators, yeah. and that helps um, the patient breathe. Yeah. So. And uh, of course, uh, You've probably seen the show before. This has been going on for you know over 20 years, and uh, and of course it, it gets bigger and better each year. The, it just fascinates me. The uh, aircraft.
crap that comes out. Oh, absolutely. It's it's a fun event that happens over Saturday and Sunday to see all of the aircrafts, the kids' faces, as well as the adults and being engaged in with the community. Five dollars per person, ten dollars for a car load. Come on out Saturday, Sunday here at EP Tom Sawyer Park. You're gonna see some amazing things and you're giving back to a great cause. Check it out. Grayson's pilot in that one. He's an eighth grader. This kid's That's got awesome. some talent, Mike. <laughs> Did they hear that? It's Mike making his sound That's Mike. again. That's what Mike does every day. Mike, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what this show has resulted in. It's back. It's back. <laughs> Is it back? Well, what you about just the stomping? Back. I haven't he heard the stomping to today, though. Usually he's over there he stomping. Stomps too. Beat and oh, stomping the beat. He I could not be happier to be on this morning shift. Y'all are a hoot, man. <laughs> Wish for Kids RC Air Show happening this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and to take some great pilots and some great builders of planes. When we come back, we'll tell you about what goes into making one of these and how you can see the show coming up on WDRB Mornings. Yeah, this is your pilot speaking. It's going to be uh, rough winds up there, and it's, uh, we're going to have a good show. We're going to have a good show on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Over, out. That, that wasn't really the pilot, because he's fake. It's a fake pilot in there. Uh, yeah, and there's, of course, a, a scale model of a, of a plane right there. Doug Bailey, uh, River City Radio Controllers, Wings for Kids air show happening on Saturday and Sunday here at uh, EP Tom Sawyer Park. Uh, we were just talking about how long the River City... Uh, uh, radio control has been around uh, since it's, about 1966. 1966. And this the show Wings for Kids been going on for over 20 years. 22 years. 22 years. And yes. this plane uh, built by one of the uh, the members. Yes. And so what goes into something like this? Well, you start out with a bunch of sticks, <laughs> and you glue all the sticks together. And if you glue them correctly, <laughs> this is how it turns out. It's amazing. And of course, <laughs> the skin on here um, is is. The it's same thing as on uh, like actual planes. The real aircraft, you know, it's a uh, fabric covering. Mm -hmm. uh, you put it on, you glue it down, then you use a heat gun and it stretches it tight. And uh, it stays like that. You don't have to worry about it forever. What kind of engine do you throw? This is a gas one, but uh, things this are kind of gas. moving toward electric, right? Yes, yes. Uh, a lot of the old guys, we still like to use the gas mm -hmm. engines. This is a twin cylinder, about a five horse mm -hmm. engine. And... Uh, uh, Uses gasoline just like you put in your car. And what scale is this? This is a one third to one half scale. Uh, Jim Schroeder over here. Uh, you said you you were flying uh, in this park uh, way back when too, right? 1968, I think we started. It was yeah. over on the other side of the yeah. park at the uh, at the dog park. It's now, for, now that the one third scale. Now we moved to half scale. So the same dimensions, uh, but just blown up. It's right? right. That's exactly what we did. We took the skate, the plants from that airplane, uh -huh. and blew it up, and then we built this airplane. And and so, uh, when you're making a, a, an even bigger plane, it's the same air, it's same principles of, of flight, right? All the principles are the same. The, yeah. the CG has to be correct, and mm -hmm. and the. The dimensions, yeah. the scale dimensions have to be clear. What do you like most out of flying like planes like this? What's the, I, what's the best part? I I just enjoy yeah. watching it fly. Yeah, it, yeah. It's an amazing sight yeah. to me that you could build something and then it, it just goes through the sky. It's, it's amazing. And you can see the show this week. It's Saturday, Sunday. It is a Wings for Kids RC Air Show, and it uh, benefits Just for Kids Transport Team, Norton Children's Hospital. And they've been doing this for years and raised over $500,000 for that uh, for the Norton Children's Hospital. And, of course, you can help out, too. $5 per person, $10 for a car load. And then, uh, of course, you can see planes like this up close and personal. And you can talk to the pilots and how they built them and see them fly in the air. Look at this. Amazing. <laughs> This is your pilot speaking again. I'm sorry. Uh, there will be no in-flight movie for this flight. Okay, sorry. Apologize for that. But the peanuts are free. All the peanuts. Well, that's nice at least. Thanks, buddy. Wings for Kids RC Air Show happening Saturday, Sunday here at EP Tom Sawyer Park and the River City Radio Controllers controlling it all and, of course, controlling these planes, too. When we come back, we'll do some flying for you and tell, about, tell you about this great fundraiser coming up on WDRB Mornings. Small aircraft will make a big difference this weekend. Our Keith Kaiser learns about the Wings for Kids Charity RC Air Show. Keith? Entertaining when you got.
got these pilots right here. There's Grayson, there's Ethan. Take them up, fellas! Take them up! We got a uh, 3D plane right there and a helicopter uh, making their way to the skies. But you're going to see 40 different kinds of planes here this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, and it's always entertaining. Uh, just for kids, transport team, that's who it benefits. And uh, Larry Cunningham, you, you get to be the air boss. Have you done this before? Have you been the air boss before? I did it last year. Last year. Yep. And, uh, and so to coordinate all these planes and how the show runs, uh, pretty difficult. Difficult or challenging at times? It's like herding cats. I like it. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. It changes from day yeah. to day as yeah. who's coming, who's not. Sure. And you're organizing the show. Are you organizing the like uh, the, the vintage planes, the, the scale model planes, 3D planes? How are you organizing the show? Um, yeah, it is broke up just like that. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you got a group of vintage, a group of 3D. Mm -hmm. We got some novelty stuff coming. We got Iron Man coming. Oh, Iron Man's coming. And uh, a I flying think, lawnmower. I, I've heard of the flying lawnmower. Yeah. That, that's all always fun stuff and of course this unique show has been going on for more than 20 years yes. raised over five hundred thousand dollars for uh, just for kids transport team Norton Children's Hospital and uh, it just it just probably makes your uh, near and dear to your heart to do something like this it, it is yeah. and especially when you're thinking about okay that could be my kid or my grandkid right. or my neighbor's yeah. kid and, yeah. and all that helps yeah and uh, of course just by flying radio controlled aircraft they're raising money and doing good in the community come out and see the show Saturday, Sunday, EP Tom Sawyer Park, Bill Fluke Field, five dollars per person, ten dollars for a car, and uh, and you're going to be uh, thoroughly entertained on two different days. It, look at that! It it shouldn't fly like that. It shouldn't fly like that. That's all I got to say. Jumpo, <laughs> jumpo. Not that one. You'll get sick, man. Uh, oh. Throwing that get thing everywhere. But you know what? Get out of the chopper! <laughs> like a good neighbor. <laughs> State Farm is there. One of the best Super Bowl commercials <laughs> this year. For <laughs> sure. Chopper! Uh -huh. <laughs> Small aircraft taken to the skies to help out Just for Kids Transport Team Norton Children's Hospital. St stand clear, prop stay clear, uh, get away. Uh, or Jim, you just spin the thing. Let's do that. Um, I'm, I'm learning all my terms this morning. When we come back with this thing, I'll take to the skies a half scale airplane. And of course, we'll tell you about Wings for Kids air show coming up on WDRB mornings. And spin the thingy, make it go. Good job, keep it going. Yes, NX77US, you're uh, clear for takeoff here. Um, yeah, your pilot is not moving very much. He seems pretty wooden in your, but you should be okay. Take off there. Wings for kids, RC air show. Oh, that bad boy taking to the sky. That's a half scale airplane uh, based off of, uh, I guess, I don't know. I, I got to learn to talk about the pilots. But I want to talk to some other pilots. The younger generation, Jim Schroeder's uh, is flying this plane right here. But get over here, Ethan. Ethan Ader and uh, Grayson Elmer. Uh, now, these guys, these guys fly a little differently. Uh, 3D planes, the helicopters. You think on totally different planes. But this, th this classic plane, you enjoy that too, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can definitely appreciate the yeah. scale aspect of it. What's the difference between uh, what he's flying and what you guys fly? Oh, man. So what we fly, yeah. uh, it's not very scale. So yeah. it's things that the real ones cannot do. Right. But something like that is going to fly more like the real one. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, you can see the, the charm of it too. Uh, biplanes, you got the, uh, the the wings over the top. What do you like to fly, Grayson? Do you like to fly the, the 3Ds? Or have you, have you tried some of these older planes like this? Uh, yeah, I've tried some of the older ones. Yeah. Yeah. But I mainly fly the 3D yeah. aerobatics. And so a part of this show, uh, the Wings for Kids RC Air Show, uh, you get to see a lot of different things. What do you enjoy most out of a show like this? Uh, I think combat's pretty fun. Oh, and yeah. Wings for er, the 3D flying, that's uh -huh. one of my favorites. Too. Now, do you guys get involved with the combat at all? Sometimes. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, and so I guess, I guess the concept is you have a streamer on one of the planes, and then you, your plane comes up and takes the streamer off with the prop. Yeah, you it, can, or it's just full-on collision. One or the other. That's a thing. Last one standing wins. That's a thing. Oh, so I, really, if you collide with another one, are you? Is somebody coming out of that or no? Um, uh, 
Uh, it could happen? Yeah, it could happen. <laughs> it, it has happened? That's amazing. Uh, of course, Saturday and Sunday, Wings for Kids RC Air Show. Come out and be a part of it. 11 to 5 on Saturday and 11 to 4 on Sunday. $5 per person, $10 for a car load. And, of course, the money raised. They've raised over $500,000 for Just for Kids Transport Team, Norton Children's Hospital. And uh, just coming out and see the show, you're supporting that. And then there you go. Oh, uh, NX 77 uh, uh, US. Um, you're clear for landing. If you want to come in for a landing, if you don't, you can stay up. I don't care because um, I'm not really the the guy, the air boss at all. Just <laughs> Never heard air traffic control like that before. Yeah. Or a pilot. <laughs> That's <laughs> really cool. Yeah. Some RC aircraft getting ready to show off some tricks at Blue Fluke Airfield. Keith Kaiser is learning about the Wings for Kids charity air show. It'll be a lot of fun, Keith. Plane shouldn't be able to do this, but these guys know how to make it happen. Taxi to the runway, Ethan. When we come back, some 3D planes taken to the skies. Just an example of what you're going to see this weekend. Wings for Kids RC Air Show. Have that coming up on WDRB Mornings. Some impressive remote control aircraft will raise money to help children. Keith Kaiser learns more about the Wings for Kids charity air show. Keith? Yeah, I was just telling the, the guys how to fly here. The one on the right, that'll go up and down, and then that, the, you, the one on the left will do that other thing. And then uh, you want to make sure that you keep the planes in the air. All right, Ethan, I think you got it now. There you go. Grayson over there, there's Ethan, and uh, doing some 3D flying right now. Amazing what they can do. Wings for Kids RC Air Show. Larry Cunningham, you're going to be the air boss. Keep things flying. Uh, do, you have, do you have some of these planes in your arsenal? I have some, but I can't fly it. <laughs> Just like this, yes. You got to start somewhere, and I think that uh, the show like this kind of inspiring the next generation to get out and, and try some of these. It, it does. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, they don't have to start at this level. There's yeah. entry level planes that they can sure. learn with and then grow to this. Yeah, but this so. is amazing what these guys are doing here, kind of thinking on uh, a totally different level. But this show on Saturday and Sunday, helping out just for kids, uh, transport team, uh, Norton Children's Hospital. You've been doing it for 20 years. You're yeah. going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going as long as what we've got volunteers yeah. and, and people willing to fly and, and yeah. build airplanes. Yeah, and yeah, the, the part of the hobby is building them yourselves, and then of course going and taking them out and fly them. And this is a, a this is this is home base for you guys here, Bill Fluke Airfield, right? It is. This yeah. is home base. Now we've got people coming in from as far as way in Arkansas mm -hmm. and Chicago and Dayton and Columbus to fly. And of course we've got jets. You got the the vintage. Yes planes, you got these 3D planes, helicopters, and a lot of fun too on the grounds here. There is. There's going to be bounce houses. There's going to be raffles that people can do. We got cheap hot dogs this year and some expensive food trucks, so there'll be a lot to do. Have a good hot dog and enjoy some great flying. It's a Wings for Kids RC Air Show. Uh, more than 20 years for this event here at EP Tom Sawyer Park. $5 per person, $10 for a car load. Come on in and enjoy yourself. They've raised over $500,000 dollars for Norton Children's Hospital over the years and uh, with, and you got to have pilots like these guys. Yeah, yeah, make sure you, you just just stay right there, good and then uh, spin around in a circle go ahead, yeah, just, that's good that's good, and then uh, Grayson, you just go around him, you just go around him like that. See, I'm, I'm, I'm like the air boss yeah that's amazing. I know, I was worried that one of them was about to go down there for a minute too, is plunging toward the ground if they wouldn't be hard to see for, you know, 600,000 people, they should do this at Thunder. I know. This is quite the show. Yeah. People wouldn't will do love this it. with real people in planes, so. <laughs> have well, you seen the little neat. pilots they have in there, the little wooden the faces? Little yeah. Man, you get yeah. sick fast in one of those, that's for sure. No mm -hmm. kidding. That's impressive. It is.